Ayan, hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, STEM 003 students. At syempre naman, welcome to General Physics 1 class. class. And welcome to the world of video discussion ng ating physics class. Eh, yes, and Ayan. I am Jason Cabanes Munar. Syempre, magiging kasama ako ng inyong yes. uh, teacher ng physics sa mga... Lahat. Actually, Sa lahat. Mga, actually, lahat. Yeah. Okay. Kagaya rin lang ng dati. Okay. Uh, uh, so, and sila yung mga students natin before. So I I'm know. sure miss na miss nila yung mga ganitong pagkakataon na Diba? Buti lang na ibalik sa'yo. <laughs> okay, so let's start our video discussion in module number one. And, and module number one is all about defining physics and measuring physical quantities. Okay, of course, we have our objectives for this topic. First is to define physics and its nature. Of course, the second is to demonstrate knowledge of precision and accuracy of measurements through observation and calculations. And last, convert units of measurement of a given physical quantities. Yes, Ayan, so sa objective pa lang, napansin ko, meron na tayo ulit conversion, conversion. Mm -hmm. Level up. Meron solving agad-agad. Physics na yan eh. Ayan, okay. physics. Let's start! At syempre, excited tayo ma'am. Malapit Ayan. na tayo sa exciting part kasi malapit na tayo mag-face-to-face. -face. Yes, malapit na malapit na ang face-to-face. -face. Pero syempre, let us define first kung ano nga ba ang physics. So, physics is defined as the science that deals with matter and energy and their interaction. Okay. So, palagi pa rin natin i-consider pagdating sa physics ang matter and energy. Uh -uh. Laging magkasama yung dalawang yes. and yan. Yes. Take ma'am. Pag sinabi natin matter kasi, lahat ng nahawakan mo dyan, Ayan. tinatawag siyang matter. Because Ayan. matter is simply defined <laughs> as, as anything that occupies space, which is volume, and as mass, which is a measure of the amount of particles the matter contains. Sabi ko nga kanina, Tintin, lahat ng nahahawakan mo dyan ay tinatawag nating matter. Yes. So, lahat ng nakikita mo ngayon sa iyong paligid, paligid. na pwede mong hawakan, yan po ay matter, matter. dahil meron siyang volume at meron, meron siyang, siyang mass, mass and it occupies space. Maski yung gano'ng kaliit na bolke, ballpen, ball tama, it yan. occupies space kasi. Mm -hmm. Next, Energy is defined as the capacity of doing work or capacity to do work. Yes. Okay. For example, ma'am, tinulak mo yung aparador. Yes. Kung gaano yung force mo sa pagtutulak, ganun din ang kanyang igagalaw. Yes. So, yung And, action or yung, yung energy or yung pagtulak natin, yun yung tinatawag na energy. energy. Kaya siya meron laging interaction kasi for example, yung aparador matter. Yung pagtulak mo, yun yung energy. energy. That's the interaction. Okay. And that is physics. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the next. Ayan, we have two properties of matter. Okay, the first one is physical matter. Okay, yun yung tinatawag natin without substantially changing a, a substance. substance. So, mas kisunugin mo yan, hindi magpapalit. Parang ganon. Ayo, uh, 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 physical without substantially changing as of Hindi nagpapalit. For example, yung wood. Uh -oh. Kapag ini-slice mo siya. Kapag nilagari mo, wood uh, pa rin siya. Kapag nilagari mo, wood pa rin siya. Uh, physical lang. Physical yun. Ito kapag chemical, chemical pala yun. yun. Requires a change in the composition of substance. Uh, yung kahoy ulit. Yung kahoy, kapag sinunog mo, hindi na siya kahoy. Uh, There's okay. a chemical change. So, kasi, chemical change. naging ash na siya. Yes. Ayun. Again, kapag physical, kapag nilagari mo ang kahoy, Kahoy, kahoy pa rin siya. Uh, walang pagbabago sa itsura. Kahoy pa rin. Yung size lang na yes. bago. Pero kapag chemical, kapag sinunog mo na yung kahoy, hindi, hindi na, siya na siya kahoy. Hindi na siya kahoy. Ash na siya. Okay. There's the chemical change. Yun. Let's now proceed with accuracy Ayan. and precision. Pero okay. let's start with accuracy. Since sabi natin, physics uh, involves measurement also. Yes. Right? And conversion and so on. And so, on. So, so, accuracy. Let's talk about accuracy. It refers to the closeness of a measurement to the accepted value for a specific physical quantity. Take so, note may of the word ng yes, yan. closeness yes. of a measurement. Kung ano yung target mo, dapat nakukuha mo yun. Uh, uh, so, take ganun. note, ah, closeness, closeness. closeness of a measurement to the accepted Accepted value. value. Meron tayo accepted value dyan, ha? Yes. And when we say precision, is the agreement among several measurements that have made in the same way or it is closeness of measured values to each other. Closeness of measured values, pero hindi niya sinabing 
closeness to, to the, the accepted, accepted value. value. So, magkaibay yung mga, na lang yun. Yung mga, ayan, maganda yung ano natin dyan eh, yung ayan. illustration natin ayan. dyan. Ayan, para mas maintindihan, let's see our illustration. Ayan, so, for example, meron tayong dark. dartboard. Dartboard, ayan. Ayan. Dyan. Meron tayong apat na results dyan. Yes. Apat na results. Unahin Ang natin yung una. Natin. Yung first ayan. dartboard, kung titignan nyo dyan mga anak. Ito, ito, yung ito yung true value natin. Na dyan, yung pinaka-center, yan ang tinatawag natin. True value. True value, yun yun. Ayan. Yung eye, okay. yan yung true value. Yung natin. apat naman dyan, yun yung pinatarget natin. Yan yung tinatawag natin. Ayan. Nung binato mo yung dart, dart dito tumama. Mama. Okay? Apat na beses. So, kung titignan yung mga anak, malapit na malapit siya sa ating truth value, which is the bull's eye. Okay? At in it, in it, and at it, the same time, magkakalapit yung apat. So, yes. ano yung tawag natin dyan, ma'am? So, ibig sabihin, yung first figure natin is accurate, accurate and, and precise. precise. Ulit, accurate siya, ma'am, tintin, kasi malapit sila sa tinatawag nating target or bull's eye. Uh -huh. Okay? Or yung tinatawag nating truth value. Yes. And precise siya, kasi yung apat ay magkakalapit. May closeness. May closeness. Yan. Okay. So, Second yun. figure naman. Go. Ayan, yung cursor natin. Yung second figure, kung titignan nyo, nandito yung ating true value. So, napakalayo niya, no, napakalayo nung tart, yung dart natin doon sa true value. Pero if you are going to look at this, yung result nung tama mo, may closeness sila. So, so ibig sabihin, say, yung second na yan is not, not accurate, accurate but, but precise. precise. Not okay. accurate siya kasi napakalayo niya sa true value but it is precise because there's a closeness dito sa result ng iyong dart nung itinama mo siya. Okay, I think that is very clear. Yes. Magtintin and let's now move on to the third dart. Yes. If you take a look Ay, sorry, on the sorry, third sorry, dart, binigay mo na kaagad. <laughs> na okay, ako. again, pare-pareho pa rin tayo ng tinatawag nating truth value or yung tinatawag nating bulls ay mga anak, yun yung tinuturo. At kung titignan mo yung apat na dat, mga anak, masyadong malayo. Yeah. Okay, sa isa't isa. Pero malapit pa rin siya sa target or sa bullseye natin. Meaning to say, that dark is what we call accurate but, but not, not precise. precise. Okay. Yeah. So, accurate siya kasi malapit siya sa true value but not precise kasi hindi na magkakalapit yung dark, yung tama ng dark. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And for the last one, Eto naman, last figure. If you are going Alam to look yung, at this... Alam mo yung, yung player dyan sa last figure, ma'am, meron siyang... Naduling niya siya. Hindi, pasmado siya. Ay, siya naduling niya. <laughs> Tinagsamang pasmado at duling niya. Ako ba yun? <laughs> Ako yung pasmado, ikaw yung duling happy. Ayan. Ayan. So, sa fourth figure, kung titingnan mo, napakalayo niya sa true value and Mer precise ba or may closeness ba? Wala. Wala. So Dito ibig sabihin, <laughs> so ibig sabihin, this is not, not accurate, accurate and, and not, not precise. precise. I think mam tintin accurate the difference between accurate and precise ay malinaw na sa ating yes. mga anak. Okay. So, okay, I hope na gets niyo ng bonggang bonggang bongga. Next. Yan. Okay, oh, let's, let's proceed. Favorite natin to? Yes naman. Ma <laughs> sure, ma basta solving favorite natin. <laughs> Measurement part, define muna natin. When we say measurement, it is the process of associating numbers with physical quantities and phenomena. Measurement is fundamental to the sciences, to engineering, construction, and other technical fields, and to almost all everyday activities. Alam naman natin all natin, everyday yes. activities. Maski nga sabi ko nga, pag, paglalakad mo lang yan, measurement na yun. O, pagbili mo pa lang ng damit, ng pantalon, ng sapatos, ng medyas, ng kahit ano, involve ang measurement. Pag intake pa lang ng water, Ay, uh, ano water yan, measurement, may measurement na yan. Okay. So, measurement is very important. Uh, um, I think life. meron tayong dalawang error when it comes to measurement. Mm -hmm. Ayan, two Maganda types of yan. error. Meron tayong tinatawag na systematic error at meron din tayong tinatawag na Uh, randomly, mamaya. Okay. Unahin natin yung systematic. So, this is the type of error which is caused by faulty instruments or the incorrect handling of instruments or incorrect calibration of the measuring instrument. Mamaya. Kumbaga, Mamaya. meron Mamaya. siyang Mamaya. systematic way ng pagkakamali. Mm -hmm. Kunwari ma, maski ilang ulit mong gawin yung experiment, yun at yun pa rin mali na yun ang lalabas. Hanggat hindi mo siya kinukorek. Oo, oh, hanggat hindi mo kinukorek yung tinatawag nating... Uh, papakita, papakita natin mamaya, natin, mamaya. yung instrument. Okay. okay. Second naman... Is random error. Uh -huh. Yan yung ano ma'am. Maski rin ulit-ulitin mo na gawin yung experiment, 
Hindi. Makakakuha ka ng hindi tamang sagot, pero hindi rin pare-pareho yung value. Yes, okay. hindi Kaya rin pare-pareho siya. ang value. That's why random error, this type of error occur, occurs when there are variations in the environment or measurement technique. This error may also cause due to errors, interpretations, of human, human error or human errors. Okay. Ayan. So, ipakita natin yung example natin. Yeah, Here is an example error. of systematic error. Kumbaga, for example, etong figure na to is yung weighing scale. Ayan. Mm -hmm. So, weighing okay. scale. Yung blue, ma'am, ay yung real weight. Yes. Okay. And While black, black line is sinatawag natin the offset, offset weight. Halimbawa, weight. sa timbangan, di ba, pag pumupunta ka sa palengke, no. hindi mo na, hindi nakakalibrate yung ibang timbangan doon. Kumbaga, may konting daya. Nakalag pa siya sa zero. Yes. Nakalag pa siya sa zero. For example, nakalagay siya sa 1. Ayan, nakalagay siya sa 1. So, ibig sabihin, nagkamali ka sa unang beses, yung mga susunod na ititimbang mo, Mali same din yung pagkakamali. Kamali. Yun yung tinatawag nating systematic error, not unless i-calibrate mo siya or iayos mo siya or ipunta mo siya sa 0. Zero. Zero. lang siya magiging tama. Oh, so, hanggat hindi mo siya pinupunta sa 0, Magkakaroon ka ng systematic mo dyan, error. Lahat nakikilo mo dyan, lahat nakikilo mo dyan, magiging error at systematic siya. Yes, Pare -pare systematic siya, meron siyang iisang result. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that is a systematic error. Kapag sinabi naman nating random error, yeah. ayun na yung sinasabi ni sir kanina. Ole. Okay, so sabihin mo nasa tama, nasa real weight siya, eto, sa nasa blue. Mm -hmm. Tama yung timbangan. Pero, hindi ka makakakuha or hindi pare-parehas yung makukuha mong error due to some experiment. Human error. Let's say for yes, example, manda error. ang mandadaya dyan yung nagtitinda. Okay? <laughs> Mas isang kilo yung binili mo, ang ibibigay lang niya sa'yo kulang ng dalawang gramo. Uh, oh. uh, Kasi or, yung susunod na bibili naman kulang ng tatlong gramo. Or, so, random error yon. Yes. For example, ang benta mo ay prutas. Mm -hmm. Hindi pare-parehas ng size, hindi pare-parehas ng bigat. Yung iba, kulang ng dalawang guhit, mm -hmm. sobra ng dalawang guhit, something so, like Like that. So, and, natin yes, and may chances din naman na sasakto siya doon sa ating railway. Mm. Ayun. So, that is all about systematic error and random. The difference random between systematic and random yes, error. error. So, yun. Since alam na nila kung ano ang measurement or at ang iba't ibang error, let us now proceed with our, our example. examples regarding conversion. Shit. Okay, so let's proceed with our conversion. Number one, convert 0 0.351 kilogram to gram. So take note that in 1 kilogram, there is 1,000 gram or equal siya sa 1,000 gram. So isulat na muna natin ito. We have 0 0.351 kilogram. So again, kapag nagko-convert tayo, dapat kapag nasa taas yung unit niya, dapat Para makancel natin siya, ilalagay natin sa baba. Eh, di ba, meron tayong imaginary denominator dyan. Na 1. So, times, sabi natin, kapag nasa taas, ibababa mo siya para makancel. So, in 1 kilogram, ilang grams ang meron tayo? 1,000. 1,000 gram. So, since parehas yan, pwede mo nang i-cancel and then apply. 0 0.351 times 1,000 is? Using our calculator, 0 0.351 times 1,000 is 351. So, we have 351 grams. Ayun. Ayan. Number 2. Ayan. Convert 2.25 miles per hour to meter per second. Okay. Per second. Okay, so na again, take note that in one mile, there is 1,609 meters. And for one hour, there is 3,600 3, seconds. seconds. Unahin natin muna yung miles per hour. We have 2.25 miles per hour. Ayan. Times, nandito yung hour natin. So, dapat yung hour natin na isa nasa taas. Tama ba? Miles, or unahin muna natin yung, yung miles, muna. miles muna in 2 meters. So, we have here in 1 mile ilang meters tayo? 1,609 meters. So, isa-isay natin using our calculator. Pwede mo na itong i-cancel. So, we have 2.25 times 1,609. It is equal to ayan, 3,620.25 3,620.25 meter 
per oh. hour. So, yan yung meter per hour natin. Next, dito na, kopyahin ko lang kasi hindi ka siya. 3,620.25 meter per hour. Okay. Andito yung hour natin. So, dapat... Times yan, kapatid. Andyan yung hour natin. So, para makancel yan, ilalagay natin sa taas. So, in one hour naman, there is 3,600 seconds. So, cancelled out, cancelled out. Meron ka na ngayon, 3,620.25 times 1. So, copy. 3,620.25 meter all over. 3,600 seconds. Using our calculator again, 3,620.25 divided by 3,600, it is equal to, ayan, 1.005 meter per second. Final answer. Okay. Okay, let's have example number 3 in conversion. Okay, the question is, let's convert 5.65 feet to meter. Okay, note that in every 1 meter, there is 3.28 feet. Okay, so if surat natin yung given... We have 5.65 feet. Okay, ikukonvert natin siya kay meter. Okay, we have our imaginary denominator of 1. Okay, ang ating rule, kapag nasa taas siya, kailangan ipupunta natin siya sa baba para siya ay makancel. Okay, we know that in every 3.28 feet, meron tayong 1 meter. Isn't it, Ma'am Tintin? Yes. Okay. Pwede na natin i-cancel yan. And let's proceed on our multiplication. 5.65 times 1 is, of course, 5.65. Isusulat natin si meter. All over. 1.3.28. Obviously, it's 3.28. Using our calculator, okay, we have now fraction 5.65 all over 3.28. That is equal to, okay, gagawin natin standard, two digits right after the decimal point. Our final answer is 1.72 meter. Final answer. Okay? How about naman, i-convert natin siya 5.65 feet to inches. Two inches naman. Alam natin that in every one foot, meron tayong 12 inches. Okay? So, surat pa rin natin yung given. 5.65 feet. Meron tayong imaginary denominator of 1. Again, nasa taas siya. Ibababa natin. Okay? In every 1 foot, meron tayong 12 inches. 12 inches. Okay? Pwede na natin siyang i-cancel, Ma'am Tintin. Let's proceed on our multiplication of fraction. So, we have now 5.65 times 12 is equal to 67.8 inches. Since ang ating denominator is 1 and 1, no need to write it. So, our final answer is 67.8 inches. So, that is all for module number 1. I hope marami kayong natutunan. See you sa ating module number 2. And I hope nag-enjoy kayo sa aming discussion. Magiging mahirap ang laban mga anak, pero lagi nating tatandaan na lahat yan ay ating kakayanin dahil lahat kayo ay... Matibay, Matibay and scientific yes. students. Bye-bye!